Claude Monet's lifelong fascination with the natural environment is reflected in two extraordinary canvases that we're offering for sale this November at Sotheby's New York. One of them is uh, from 1893, and the 1890s is one of the great periods for the series paintings that Monet initiated, whereby he would return to the same spot to capture different environments and to capture the transient nature of changing atmospheric effects. The work that we have, which is the ice flows at Benacor, which is near Giverny, is a work he painted in 1893, and it was bought just a couple of years later in 1897 by Louisine Havemeyer. Now, the Havemeyers amass one of the greatest collections of Impressionist art in America, so it's an honor to present a work that uh, has this um, storied provenance. The Metropolitan Museum already has another ice flows painting that came from the Havemeyer collection, and it's very similar to our work. It's one of just three, in fact, that show the small island of Forêt on the river at Benacor, and it captures so well Monet's concerns with especially his love of painting outdoors in the dead of winter. Now, he's capturing here an environment that is still and incredibly cold, and the light reflection through the mist and the capturing of the sunlight is really an extraordinary tour de force. What you're seeing is that the river has frozen and thawed on several occasions, creating this sort of ice flows of rocks, if you like, sort of pieces of ice that are jagged and floating downstream. But what that did is animate the river surface and provided Monet with all the visual delight that he could capture with his paintbrush. Another remarkable feature of the ice flows painting is the incredible texture and impasto that you see. If you look up close, there really are this sort of three-dimensional almost relief aspect to the painting of the blocks of ice as the thawing is occurring and there's more movement in the river surface. Now, if we turn to the canvas of the Les Arceaux de Rose, we have a work that is the diametric opposite. This was painted a decade or two later in 1913, and it's in the height of summer, and he's delighting in his own personal garden that he created at Giverny, and of course, the famous Water Lilies Pond. And this painting is very much a Water Lilies work. It's a painting of two halves. You have this arch of roses that he's planted and taken great pride in, in building. And then the lower section is, of course, the mirror-like surface of the pond itself, which reflects the upper register. It really shows his handling of paint, how he conveyed this extraordinary sense of light and movement and reflection on the still surface of the pond. Mm -hmm. 